Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about the market because it is flying right now in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. EA Play, EA Access was released yesterday. We had people getting on the game, playing their rivals placement matches, and stuff on the market is absolutely exploding. You guys are making tons of coins if you got in early like we talked about on a lot of meta cards, and a lot of things just continue to rise. So now we have to start asking ourselves, is it almost the right time to sell or when is that time to sell going to be so we're going to talk about that a little bit today not specifically that'll be in a separate video later but also just looking at some of these rises and just trying to figure out when is a card going to be accurately priced for that sell point does it keep rising and also talking about some extinct cards can you still invest in some of these because i think some cards are going to continue to rise over the next 24, 48, even maybe even 72 hours. We get a couple days into the weekend with squad battle rewards on Sunday, which is going to boost up the market a decent amount and also provide some supply for lower rated cards. So I want to talk about the full gamut of cards on the game right now. Now we have some low rated cards like this Richarlison that are absolutely going crazy. Now I think there's a couple reasons why Richarlison is going absolutely this nuts. I had no inclination to start this this year of fifa i had no reason to think this card would be forty thousand coins right now but an extinct gabriel jesus and some other lacking places in the um striker there's a lot of prem strikers that are extinct right now gabriel jesus is extinct rodrigo is extinct and richarlson is brazilian has that five star weak foot and apparently is pretty decent in game i haven't played the game yet my game is actually still downloading right now after the stream uh and i haven't even actually got actually into foot yet for my 10 hour trial so haven't got there yet but i've heard that the gameplay is decent and that this card is pretty good in the game so that's why he's expensive but this is just one example of a card that boomed today that i still think you would want to hold on to maybe another day or so because even though it seems super expensive as long as those other strikers stay extinct there's no other place to go in this game to buy a Prem Striker except for a card like this. But I would look to sell this card. If you see 50k, I would cash it for him. And then another low-rated player that's still very expensive, Musa Sissoko, 79 rated. Dominic Sanchez, 81 rated. These cards are going to start reaching a point where the, all the supply just starts to come in. And they're going to start dropping a little bit. Now, all the supply is different for some cards too, right? I see more... 82 rated Nicolas Pepe cards pop up on the market when I try to snipe him than I do when I'm looking for Sissoko who is 79 rated so that literally makes no sense but that's how pack weight can be in this game and that affects some of the price range or price ranges and some of the price increases that we saw yesterday now let's look at some of these booms in price Paul Pogba and I'm actually going to be looking at price graphs today on FootWiz because FootWiz has price graphs they're somewhat readable and i don't know what's up with foot bin but they don't have price graphs yet so pogba was fifty nine thousand coins early yesterday morning and he rose up big time going from look at this dude 50k all the way up to 250,000 coins about where he is right now foot bin says 215 or foothead says 215 foot bin says 230 so that's kind of interesting you have a difference there in price but uh a lot of these cards are just absolutely flying which is crazy to see and if you bought any of these cards day one you're feeling great joe gomez same thing this guy was like thirty thousand coins even 50k earlier today all the way up at ninety four thousand coins a guy like kevin de bruyne right i literally saw him this morning at 150k he was down i thought it was crazy now he's four hundred thousand coins so having coins again if you were an ea game changer or you were able to get on the game early and somehow get some coins or open up fifa points or whatever that helped you out so much. Even if yesterday during the web app, if you packed somebody that was high rated, it allowed you to go invest in other players, you made tons of money. As people got their division rivals placement games done today, got those coins. People were getting division two in placements in rivals, getting 124,000 coins just like that. That is crazy. Even division five or six, I think is like 55K or 40K or something like that which is a lot of coins for a lot of people on this game that got on during EA Access and got those coin boosts. So today was just all about the market flying, prices going crazy, and people making tons and tons of coins on this game that were invested early uh, in the market. So 
that was big, right? Huge W. Do you want to sell? If it's a really meta card like this, last year De Bruyne was about this price as his max with all the extra coins that we have put onto the market. Some guys were asking me about people like Varane. If it's a super meta card, even just if it's just like a pretty meta card, like a Joe Gomez, I would not sell yet. Varane, I would not sell yet. I think these cards still have more to go because especially on the higher tier end, there's just more coins that are going to be put on the market. More people are going to be able to afford them. And they're going to continue to go up, especially with the extra amount of coins we've had this year put on the market with those division rivals uh, reward, the placement rewards for getting through the divisions and getting those those one-time coin boosts basically at the start of the game this year. I think that's putting more coins onto the market and I think we're going to see higher prices. So I would expect all these cards to continue to go up. Not all of them, but most of them. So we'll, I'll talk about some that I think could go down, but at least if it's a high rated meta card, I think they're going to stay up in price because they just have to, right? People are continually upgrading their teams. They're getting more coins from, especially this weekend, coin boosts, um, doing SBC still on the game, playing games, playing squad battles matches, and getting some other packs inside the game too from SBCs uh, still going on. Now, team of the week one. These guys absolutely flew today as well. Shoot, I was literally just looking at Chucky Lozano for 55,000 coins, and I didn't buy him, and it looks like now... He might be 62,000 coins. Uh, so these cards are going to fluctuate a lot in price. And I'm interested in that. Yeah, this guy was literally just 55K. And now he's back up to... He's, he got some overnights at 62. So this is what I would say with these cards. If you're interested in trading with Team of the Weeks and you're interested in investing in some of them, some of them I still think are investable. And they're going to fluctuate a lot as well. Um, Lozano still seems decent to me. A lot of these guys boom today. Like Bruno was like 100 something K. Now he's 380. This Ben Yedder card is going to be crazy, crazy expensive until he gets another inform. That's the only thing that's going to push that card down, in my opinion, because these cards are all going to be pretty rare. If you invested in these, just like other gold cards, they boomed incredibly today. So you're making huge coins on those, which is a GG. Uh, and I would keep holding these as well because these informs, Team of the Week 1 has the least amount of supply out of any inform squad on the entire game because there's just not as many people on when these cards are in packs so that's just something to keep holding on to and then let's talk about extinct cards to round this thing off and then maybe talk about as well uh some cards that could go down with more supply like cards that are, have gone up and they're up in price and some that could go down so extinct cards rodrigo right we talked about the extinct premier league strikers right now let's go to fever 21 players let's go to position striker and league rem so we have a couple extinct strikers right now we have a gabriel jesus that is extinct and we have a i think timo Werner is actually going to be is actually extinct as well uh alongside of course we don't have jamie vardy because he's in team of the week so the striker position in the premier league is just really it's really scarce right now because we have multiple players that are extinct with rodrigo and with um it says gabriel jesus has 50k here but i'm pretty sure he's still extinct um at 50k i think both of these cards still have room to run yeah gabriel jesus is extinct and rodrigo is extinct as well rodrigo of course has the ones to watch potential which is big and gabriel jesus just has the brazilian links which is big so i think that once you see these cards become not extinct anymore you will see a guy like richarlison drop down a decent amount I like Gabriel Jesus at 50K. I, that is a card. And also Rodrigo at 18K. Both of those two, after seeing the value of Richarlison, makes me like buying those cards and sniping those at 50K for Gabriel Jesus and 18K for um, Rodrigo. If that's something you're interested in, if you're trying to make some coins that way. It's risky, of course, because you're relying on EA for that price range update. And if they update the price range on some of these cards at different times, that could change prices and you always have to be watching the market if you're going to invest in some of that stuff. So it could be a bit suspect, but it also could be very profitable because I think these cards still have a lot of room to run. There's, I think Firmino would be somebody who would probably drop a little bit based off of this news as well. I don't know how much Firmino was last year, but I don't feel like I remember him being this much. Was he actually 100K last year? Wow. All right. He was 100K last year, but he didn't hit it day one. Uh, he went up to 90k on day one, and then day three, he was 102. So I guess Firmino, for me, is still a bit overpriced. He just, I mean, 90 dribbling is nice. Five-star skills is dope. He doesn't have the pace, though. I feel like when a guy like Gabriel Jesus comes out, he could go up to 75,000 coins, and Firmino might come down a little bit. 
Although some people would play Firmino as a as a center attacking mid, uh, maybe I don't know. But uh, yeah, so all I'm feeling about Premier League strikers is I kind of like Rodrigo and Gabriel Jesus as extinct investments. I like Militao as an extinct investment. Um, I kind of like this Porto card. Now he actually just went extinct tonight at 13k, and I bought him on accident because I thought that wasn't his price. He's extinct at 10k on the Xbox. And this guy's in a lot of starter teams. So I don't mind this. He's 83 rated, but it doesn't look like he's got a lot of supply. So I'm fine with that one. Uh, some other extinct players that you guys mentioned to me tonight on stream. Um, who else is extinct? Douglas Costa is not extinct anymore. He got a price range update. Fakir was extinct for a while today. He got a price range update. He was extinct at 10K. Now he's at 16. Um, there's a lot of extinct players out there, but this is what I'll tell you. If it is an, an extinct player... And you want to kind of figure out, hey, what could this card go to? There's a couple things you have to consider. Number one, you have to consider the supply, right? If I go on the web app and I start looking at Nicolas Pepe, he's been my example twice already tonight, but for good reason. This dude has so much supply for an 82 rated card. It's crazy. So when you want to figure out if a card is going to be going up a lot after they're extinct or not, you're going to want to sit and look and try to snipe that card. Spend 5-10 minutes trying to snipe that card and learn the supply. If you see a card popping up every 1 or 2 minutes, if it's like an 82, if it's 82 Rodrigo, he's popping up every 2 minutes, that would maybe be a warning sign to me that, oh man, this guy's popping up a lot. He's going to have a lot of supply, which means a lot of people who snipe those cards and hold on to them are all going to have to start listing at the same time. And there could be a bit of undercutting and it might, you know, cause the price to not actually go up that much. Now, maybe somebody like Militao only pops up one every like five minutes. You know, you don't see a lot of them pop up when he gets listed at his max price because people are just taking the coins. In that case, I would have more, I would feel better about investing in that card that is ex extinct just because he has less supply uh, going on on the market. No, that's a good snipe right there. If I can get it, I was too late because I botched the keyboard stroke. Rip. Anyway, um, another way to figure out is a card going to rise to a profitable place after a price range update is to look at other cards and other players in that same position, same league, same nationality, and kind of just plot out where that card could go. That's exactly what I did with that Rodrigo situation, right? I looked at the strikers on Footbin and I said, yo, We've got Anthony Marshall at 155K, Gabriel Jesus extinct at 50, Lacazette is too expensive in my opinion at 17K, Rodrigo is extinct at um, 18K with 91 pace, and he's got the same pace as Timo Werner, Jamie Vardy's 100K, like all these strikers are 100K, or you have a couple at like 40K, and that's where the Richarlison comes in, and that's why Lacazette is expensive. So I feel like when a Gabriel Jesus, who was 50K last year, gets his price range, I feel like he's going to 75K because he's pretty comparable to Martial. They're both four-star, three-star. The only difference is Martial has four more pace and two more passing and one more shot, and he's French and Manchester United, right? I would argue that a guy like Gabriel Jesus maybe even fits the old meta more. I don't know what the gameplay is like again, but I feel like Gabriel Jesus would fit more people's idea of what meta is because he's five foot nine. So I don't understand why this card could be over 75, even 100,000 coins, to be honest, at Gabriel Jesus. So I'm a huge fan of that one. Huge fan of, of um, Rodrigo, unless the supply is crazy. A guy like Militao, I look at a guy like Diego Carlos as a great comparison to Militao. Because um, Diego Carlos is 50,000 coins at the moment. 61,000 coins. He just keeps going. As an 83 rated card, other Brazilian center backs that are this meta, people want to play with Militao and Diego Carlos in the same team. So if Militao is extinct right now, what, 15K? I don't understand why this card could at least be 30,000 coins and double it up. Militao doesn't have a high pack weight anyway, so I'm a fan of that one, if I'm being completely honest. Those are the ones that come to mind right away. Now, I know there's some other uh, cards that are extinct out there, and I know that there are some other good cards that could be investable, that they're extinct, but kind of use that thought process as a way to go about Wijnaldum. Wijnaldum is one that I'm not so sure about because we have a lot of other center mids in the Prem that are kind of inflated, that are kind of pricey. I don't know if that's a really, really good one. Adama and Ake, 79 rated players that are purely starter players in this game. I don't understand why they're extinct. It doesn't make sense to me. I would sell those, right? Fred as well. What's his price range? 15,000 coins and he's extinct. I mean, 
there are 81,000 or 81 rated players that are pretty expensive, like Dominic and Sanchez and players like that. But still, I'm a bit Fred to me and Fred to I feel like people on this game is purely a starter card. So I would just be careful with some of these cards that are extinct that you're, if you're trying to go snipe them. Uh, I just be careful with it, man. Again, try to compare the price with similar leagues, similar nation, and just gauge the hype on that player, right? That's another reason why I love Gabriel Jesus and Militao. They are Brazilian, Manchester City, and Real Madrid. A lot of links that people like to use in this game already. And it just makes for a good combination uh, on some of those, you know, the meta cards that people want to buy and use in their squads. So, again, one thing I will watch for, I'm going to say this for the end of the video. I, it's kind of like a live market thing, right? Uh, some of these cards kind of reached a peak tonight. They kind of dipped back down. These cards ebb and flow all the time. I've really been watching this uh, Lucas Hernandez card right around. I want to get him at 18K, and I got one at 18,000 coins. But I'm really trying to watch this guy because I think tomorrow he could have a pretty big uh, rise again. He doubled in price today. I could see him going to 30K plus tomorrow. Again, take a look at the supply. Now, the web app is kind of glitched at some points. But there's only a couple pages of supply here at Lucas Hernandez as an 82 rated card that is French. If you're upgrading somebody in your team from like a Konate card, like this, by the way, is way too expensive. I think Konate is 10K. Yeah, Konate is basically 10,000 coins right now. This card, you're paying 10K more for that Lucas Hernandez. And it's just such a better card than this Konate. It's crazy. So people are going to start upgrading their teams with the coins that they get from, again, division rivals placements, doing more SBCs and uh, just playing the game and getting coin boost coins. So that's kind of big uh, for that right there. So just watch out for some of these more meta cards to continue rising. Like Coutinho, I'm keeping my eye on. Um, and Dombele, I'm kind of keeping my eye on. The informs like Lozano, I'm just keeping my eye on these cards and keep watching that. That's, that's the biggest thing you can do to give yourself an advantage and just to be active and to give yourself the opportunity to make coins is just watch some of these cards and their fluctuations, right? Coutinho hit 20,000 coins earlier tonight. I saw him back down at 17. He's still kind of chilling close to 17. Which actually there was one right there at 17,000 coins. I told myself if I saw this one at 15K tonight, then I would be snagging it because these cards are going to fluctuate, man. And I still think they have room to go up in the next coming day or two. But I'm a bit worried for the low rated guys. A bit worried for guys like Eric Bai. A bit worried about low rated guys. Kind of with like Ake, Traore, I would try to ship those guys out sooner rather than later just to be safe, all right? Just to be safe because you don't want to mess around with too much at this stage of the game because coins are precious, right? Coins are precious. I've got 36K. I've got about 80, 90K, I think, if I sell everything. And uh, I think right now, a little TP check, a little TP check. I believe I'm at 140K TP, 154,000 coins of transfer profit. No FIFA points so far through two days. I feel great. A lot of flips today. 87 sold items. So we're moving, boys. All right? We are freaking moving. If this video helped you at all, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.